Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching Behind the Brand. I want to give a special shout out to my friends at Pixability for making this episode possible. And don't forget to subscribe. It actually makes a huge difference to convince the people that don't believe you can watch awesome content like this for free on YouTube. Hope you enjoy the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Jeffrey Hislett and you are watching Behind the Brand. Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with global business celebrity, Jeffrey Hazlett. Jeff, welcome to the show. Hey, it's good to be here, and it's always good to be a global business celebrity. Talk about the C-suite a little bit. It's not easy to get into the C-suite, you know, Fortune 500, Fortune 100 company. Well, just say Fortune 1000. You know, if you look at Fortune 1000 times five officers in each company, that's only 5,000. There are more people playing professional sports in the United States than are actually in the Fortune 1000 company. So when you look at that, to be, as I was, a former Fortune 100 officer, that's the elite of the elite of the elite. There's only 500 of us in the world. And so when you look at that, it's no, it's not easier. It's actually easier to become a professional athlete than to break into that fortune level of that leadership. But, and I've been very lucky to be able to do that. I'm curious about that. I want to break it down. I know a lot of people watch this show. They're on the path to the C-suite or they are in the C-suite. Um, how do you get that job? I mean, is it, uh, is it your experience? Is it part charisma? Is it a little bit of love? A little bit of everything, quite frankly. But you, you've got to be good at what you do. I mean, when you're playing at that level, it's at the highest levels there are. I mean, this is high table stakes and a lot of uh, stress and a lot of things are riding on. You, you're basically playing with people's lives and their livelihood. So you better be damn good at what you do when you're in at that level because you don't want to be messing, making huge mistakes. Now, you'll make mistakes, don't get me wrong, and there's a lot of them that made mistakes and lose their job and, and cause many tens of thousands of people to lose their jobs because they go bankrupt or, or problems. But you know, by and large, um, you're really good at what you do. You're the best of the best. And, and, and I'm not saying that because I've been there and, and, and with all bravado, you know, because it's not hubris if it's true, you know. But the key thing is, yeah, we do what we do and we've done it well. And we've been groomed to some extent. Now, some of us get a little bit luckier in finding that job or position, but you don't stay there very long, you know. And it, as I said, it's a high stakes game. The average, you know, life of a CMO, at least when I was doing the job, was 18 months. So you didn't stay in those jobs. It's a dog eat dog kind of business. 